Hey guys, welcome back to Anything Nerd, this is Ryan, and today we're going to be doing the fourth boss in the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword series, and the Imprisoned. Now, the Imprisoned is known for just being generally annoying. It's one of the worst rated bosses in the Zelda game. Not many people like this boss fight. In the f in this round, it's very easy. All you gotta do is, as you see in the video, is attack its toes. Now, I did this backwards. Usually, you should go for the back toes first, as it slows down the monster. Now, as the boss fight goes on, he will do the stomp. You just gotta avoid the shockwave, and then attack the toes. He will fall down, and then you'll run to the front of the boss, and hit in the spike. The seal. I don't know what the hell that thing's called. You do three upward slashes, which I fail as. The boss will then get really aggravated, stand up, and start kind of like a snakes going up the hill. You want to run to the center, go up the spur, and then aim to land in front of it. Now, on that first time, I really didn't need to do that, so yeah, but for later on, you will. So, on the first one, you shouldn't, you should just go to the smaller ones and then jump up before it as I do waste a lot of time falling down. He now, in round two, he now speeds up, but he still can't do any damage to you unless he does the shockwave. As he's doing the shockwave on one foot, just go to the next foot. Go to the back of the legs, and take out the legs. Very simple fight, very easy fight, but can be quite annoying if you don't know the tactics. run back to the top of the boss and do three forward upward slashes. You want to, once again rush forward. This time you'll have to head for the center. Use the shoot. Aim in front of him. At this point on phase 3, he will always do a stomping with a shockwave. So you gotta just keep alternating left and right really quickly. It would be best to do a slash attack where you move both your nunchuck and your sword in together. To do a swirl, but I seem to have messed that up. Just avoid the shockwaves as best as possible. Try time the toes perfectly. When one foot is out, he'll go a lot slower, so mainly target one foot first in case if you have the trouble of he's getting up the hill too quick. Go to the back of the boss, do three more upward slices, and the boss fight should finish. This was done in hero mode, if anyone was wondering. You do not gain an extra heart crystal for this boss, unfortunately, and you will be seeing him again very soon.